Hey guys, it's Strawberry Ella here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so and hit that little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I post videos about veganism and traveling and minimalism and in today's video I'm actually gonna talk about minimalism. So if you haven't checked out my playlist, I'm gonna link a link down below in my description box and then you can watch them. In today's video I want to talk about how to be more like a minimalist at Christmas time. Now the holidays are coming up and society is all about buying gifts and spending money and being a minimalist during that time of the year can be really tricky and might not be the thing that pops up into your mind when you think about Christmas and spending money and consuming. But I have three tips on how you can be more like a minimalist during that time of the year and how it can help you to focus on the things you actually want to focus on, spend less money and less time on things you don't really need and not giving in into these traditions the media is telling us about what Christmas is about. So I hope you enjoy these tips and I would say let's just jump right into the video. Christmas is that time of the year where everyone just gets crazy with going to the shops and picking up things for your loved ones and just spending a ton of money on things the person might not even need. And my first tip is to not give in to that. Don't mindlessly spend money on things that person might not even need. Don't just pick up something because it is that time of the year where everyone is picking up gifts and just giving presents and you feel like you have to do that. You feel obligated to do the same thing. And don't get me wrong, I'm not about not giving gifts to the persons I love and the persons I care about because I love doing small things for someone or just picking up something. I think that person really needs that or really loves that, but I do that whenever time of the year. Yeah, I think it is a great idea to show someone that you love them and you think about them, but I don't want to feel obligated to do that at that time of the year. Otherwise you just end up mindlessly buying things that person might not even need and then it just clutters up their life and they just put it in the back of their closet and they never even look at it because they don't really need it. For me Christmas is not about giving and taking. It's about spending time with my loved ones and being grateful and appreciate for what I have. So I don't need to look around and look for things I need or I have to get for other people. And why don't you think about making a gift for someone in a different kind of way without spending money. You could also just spend a day with that person. You can make a movie night or just go out to eat or just prepare some delicious food for that person. It doesn't have to involve money to be a nice gift. I think that is a great way to give as well, to just give love and share love at Christmas or any time of the year actually. My second tip is don't go crazy with Christmas shopping. I used to be one of these person who loves to go into the shops at that time of the year and just pick up all the winter sales and buy all the things with the red price tags because I felt drawn to buy these things and I felt like I definitely need them right now because they're on sale and you know I save money so I pick them up right now everyone is doing that but to be honest with you you don't really need that it's just another thing the media and society is telling you that everyone is into this crazy shopping mindset and everyone is doing that right now so you feel like you have to do that as well but let me tell you, you don't have to do that. Just because something is on sale doesn't mean that you have to pick it up right now. Maybe you don't even need that item. Think beforehand if you actually need that item. If it is beneficial for your life right now and if it adds value to it. Otherwise you just end up spending money on things you take home and they just clutter up your life, they take up space. You end up not even wearing them anyways because to be honest, who needs all these funny Christmas sweaters and and tons of different scars and gloves and hats and who wants to buy summer clothes at this time of the year? Yeah, they're reduced but to be honest with you, how do I know if in a few months time if I still want to wear them if, and if I still really need them and 
Till then, they just take up spice in my closet and I don't really know if I actually gonna wear them. So why do I have to pick them up right now? So don't give in to this craziness of shopping and consuming, which is, especially right now during this time of the year, really overwhelming. So I tend to just not even go to the store because it is crowded there and there's so many people and that just stresses me out anyway. So I'm just gonna stay at home or just do other things I wanna spend my time on. I don't have to spend less less money on things that are reduced. I'm gonna spend that extra money on something I actually gonna value and I actually gonna wear, which can be any time of the year. My third and final point about being more minimalistic at Christmas time is giving something back. Now, as I said, it doesn't have to be that you pick up something and then you give it to someone, but it can actually be something you already have and you don't need anymore. Donating things or selling things for little money on local eBay websites or just other sites or just flea markets or other markets is a great way to give back something to someone you don't think it adds value anymore to your life but to other people it might does go through your closet go through your books or things you don't need anymore and they just clutter up your life and just donate them or give them to people that think they might need them that can be just friends or family or just sell them and make a little bit money but it's not about the money it's about that you don't really need these things anymore and they might add value to someone else's life and they might need them you can also just like look around for these kind of things as well if you need something instead of going to the shops and picking up something new you can buy used books or go to the library thrift shopping and go to used clothes stores or flea markets or things like that just buy something from someone else that person doesn't feel like it adds value to their life anymore but it can be a little thing that adds value to your life so these were my three tips on how to be more minimalistic at christmas time and i know it can be hard at this time of the year everyone is just getting into mindlessly buying things and shopping but you don't have to give into that since adopting a more minimalistic lifestyle i feel like i have so much more space not just physically but also mentally i have so much more space in my head to think and focus on the things i actually want to focus on and value the things i have right now so much more and i appreciate and being grateful for what i have so i think that is what you should remember at christmas time and i hope these three tips are helpful to be more minimalistic at this time of the year and if you have any more tips then please feel free to share them in the comments below because i think that is a great way to communicate and to share things someone else didn't really think about in the first place i'm also going to put all my social media links in down in the description below as always so we can stay in touch that's it for the video guys i wish you all a merry christmas happy holidays i hope you spent an amazing time with your loved ones appreciating the things you have and you value in your life so i hope you have an amazing day as well and i'll see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.